Oh my god. Literally in labor pains. Literally, literally. Yeah, cash. literally like having a home birth <laughs> like <sighs> I've assisted with a home birth it's like very comparable I feel like <sighs> my god <sighs> oh. oh my god I'm not sitting on the toilet, I know, well, I am sitting on the toilet, but the lid is down, so don't think any weird things, but, um, yeah, I'm sitting here because there's a stool, like, I don't know, it's like a good height, and then there's a stool that my feet are on, and it's just, like, comforting feeling, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But... It's now 5.30 p.m. and the pain has just been like contractions, you know, keeps going like in and out and in and out. So, yeah, I haven't really taken anything for it today though, I've just been trying to like get through. So I think I'm going to try to do some more CBD oil tonight and then, yeah, we'll see what happens. If it gets really bad, you know, I have to go in, so. All right, so um, this is what's happening. I, um, so a lot of, I think it's like a, you guys probably can't see me that well. Hang on, let me turn towards there. Okay, so um, I think it's like a big misconception that people think that um, if you have colitis, you have like an immense amount of diarrhea a lot. Um, that's not the case. Uh, I mean, you could be, completely constipated all the time and have colitis um or you can be both you know so it doesn't necessarily matter like what's happening in your colon your colon just has a disease in it that needs to be taken care of it's very painful no matter what's happening so um i think that i get both of what i talked about um so but i let's say i'm probably 64 uh, no, okay, so I get both, but I'm about 60% more on the constipated side, maybe 65% more on that side, um, and so that's super painful because, I mean, it, there's something in you that needs to come out. It's just like having a baby, literally. It's like there's something in you that needs to come out, and it hurts, and um, so I think that that was the case for this time, and so right now I've been feeling like pretty good um for the past hour at least knock on wood oh my god um anyway so what I did was I grabbed some peppermint oil because peppermint's supposed to heal um or help you heal and or help with pain or something I don't know so I grabbed some peppermint oil I rubbed it on my stomach where my cramps were hurting and then I put a little bit in my belly button um because I dated a doctor one time and that's how he told me how you get essential oils like the real effects of it is by putting it in your belly button he could have been bullshitting me but it sounds it sounds legit to me i don't know so i did it so um i did that with peppermint oil and then i um ended up taking anxiety medication because a lot of times that will help i know that i'm probably gonna have some haters for me saying that that anxiety medication helps i know that you know you really don't want to be on like a ton of anxiety medication but in my case it does help it doesn't help all the way but it does help calm me down just a little bit so I took some anxiety medication I took two stool softeners so that's 200 milligrams or a milligram uh, I don't know each one yeah each one's 100 milligrams sorry um, someone texted me okay and then so I took two stool softeners and then I took Miralax which is like a very soft laxative 
Um, so I took that as well. I mixed that in water. I drank that. Um, and then I was in a lot of pain. I just like waited it out. And what happened then was then I took the anxiety medicine because I was like, okay, then the anxiety medicine will kick in. I'll be okay. Um, because once I do start to have a bowel movement, like I won't, I mean, it might hurt, but it won't freak me out like mentally where I'm like, oh my God, I'm dying, you know? So, um, yeah, so I did those things and I took an anti-spasm medication that I take every single night. I just took it early tonight. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know if I'm making sense right now. Sorry. Like the anxiety medication kind of makes me a little, but, um, yeah. So anyway, so I took the stool softener, took the Miralax, um, went to the bathroom or I sat literally just on the toilet with my feet up on a stool because that's like the best way to do it. I swear to God, a lot of doctors have told me that I've done a lot of research. It just is like the more comfortable way to have a bowel movement. Also, humans aren't supposed to sit the way that we do to have bowel movements. Fun fact, we're supposed to squat um, because whether you believe in Adam and Eve, which I do, or that we were gorillas or something at one point, Adam and Eve and those gorillas, they were squatting when they were having a bowel movement. And you squat pretty much when you're um, having, like giving birth. So you need to be somewhat in a squatting position. And so putting a stool underneath your feet really, really helps. Um, so I just went and sat on the toilet and just like, I literally brought in my computer, watched Teen Mom just to get my mind off of it. And just like sat there and there was pain and it hurt. Um, there was just a lot of cramping and I brought in lavender oil with me. I was smelling the lavender oil that was calming me down and I did go to the bathroom twice and I feel better. Um, yeah, so I feel better and I just took a melatonin because I can't afford to miss more work. So I just took a melatonin and yeah, but I think that was the problem. Um, also I think it was my dinner last night. I had a salad with pepper jack cheese like a lot of cheese was in it and I don't think that, that was like good and salad is kind of like flares you up I know it sounds really weird but it's just like really fibery and I don't know anyways so yeah I and raw vegetables can flare you up too which is so weird you would think like oh you're sick have a carrot you know and I love carrots um but yeah I can only have them like cooked really soft um yeah so anyways that's the update right now I'm feeling okay um, I think that's all I needed to do, but I still don't feel like 100%, but I can't afford to miss another day at work, so I'm going to try to go to bed. It is now 9.45 p.m., so it's been happening for 24 hours um, that I've been sick so far. So, yeah, I'm going to go to sleep, and then um, I'm not going to upload this right away. I'm going to like wait a few days and then see what happens within the next few days um, until I feel like it's really gone, and I'll just keep you guys updated as much as I can. Alright, thanks. Hey guys, so, um, just an update. It's now the next day. Um, I haven't really felt too much today. Just like a tiny bit for me, like five minutes, a little bit of cramping. But other than that, that's it in a vitamin because I had to have coffee to be awake. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's it right now. So, hopefully it keeps going like this, but yeah. I don't know hopefully we just stay on this track I can feel good but I still feel exhausted like so lethargic so tired I took a nap for four hours today like and I got a full night's sleep so yeah just the side effects of that just suck you know because it's hard to work when you're constantly sleeping okay guys so I just got home from work and right beneath me they built like a it's like a brand new store like literally it's been open for like a few days and it's all CBD stuff like no THC or anything like that just all CBD like things and so I just went in um, before coming well I went to the grocery store and then I just like on my way into my building I stopped in and I told them like I have colitis I use CBD oil but I really want to be on some capsules that I take every single day of CBD because I think that it would just because I feel like I only take the oil when I feel bad, you know, and if I just like constantly like took something every day that I would feel better and um, 
yeah so there's no thc in it it won't give me high they have a shipment coming in tomorrow so i'm gonna stop by tomorrow oh i just i'm making soup and i just started the i put water on the stove and didn't even start it that's totally something i would do um anyway so they were like tomorrow we get a shipment in of capsules so i'm gonna do that um and then i'm making food oh and i'm gonna take these magnesium pills um after, like while i eat and then i'm making i'll show you what i'm making for dinner um everyone's colitis is different i don't have damn it oh if this is spicy i'm gonna be so mad oh man that better not be spicy anyways okay um wait uh, damn it cilantro too oh i hate cilantro so much anyways okay so um what i'm eating tonight i should have looked at the ingredients um i'm having i'm i'm not gluten free i've tried being gluten free it didn't help me so i know everyone's um colitis is completely different but this is what i'm safe to eat um so i am eating chicken and white bean i didn't know that that said chili i didn't even look at that um i can't have spicy stuff so i'm hoping this isn't like too spicy um and then i love these like kids cuts this is all from whole foods i love these little pinwheel things they're for kids but i'm obsessed and then i just got these which i just discovered they're artichoke hearts and you can just eat them like right now they're ready to eat or you can like warm them up or whatever um and then i'm gonna put a little bit of truffle oil black truffle oil into the soup because i love doing that um if that soup is too spicy what do i have i think i have soup i don't know uh, oh yeah i think i have i have a lentil soup which actually is I, wait i think this is lentil is it <laughs> Oh yeah, I have a lentil soup. Okay, I'm probably gonna use this instead actually. Um, lentils makes me go to the bathroom. Let's just see, use before. Oh, okay, perfect. Um, so I'm gonna do this. So I'm just gonna mix the noodles because I love soup with noodles. Um, so I'm just gonna mix the noodles with the lentils. Hopefully that'll make me go to the bathroom um, to relieve some like discomfort. And then I'm gonna add some artichoke hearts and some truffle oil in there just like you know make my own little soup that's already made but I'm just adding stuff to it um I'm afraid to eat this now I don't damn it anyways my boyfriend's coming tomorrow so I'll make him taste taste test that for me see if it's spicy um but yeah anyways so that's the stuff that works for me so yeah pretty much all I have to say but I did feel okay today oh and I got some bananas as well because bananas help with stomach cramps so I'm probably gonna have banana right now because I'm super hungry um just to start off and then yeah okay anyways still I'll keep you guys updated I started a colitis vlog a few days ago yeah okay so it's been like six days since I officially started having a minor flare-up and right now I thought I was like in the clear and my boyfriend's visiting me and I don't, I don't know, I just started to like feel very faint, I'm gonna pass out. And my stomach was hurting a lot, I just don't feel well at all, I don't feel like myself. There's a hospital right next door to where we are, so that makes me feel safe. Just because of my anxiety. But other than that, I don't feel good. Not at all. I should probably put on like, my nausea bands. Do you think? Let's see bands. You can just buy a new fan and just put it on. Yeah, 
What does it feel like? Just don't. It's like a whole feeling. It's not like just like pain. It's like just a whole like something like overtakes you. Yeah. Because you're like not gonna be okay. Yeah. What was that? No, I've never, never experienced it. I've never experienced it. I mean, it is really hot in here, so. Let's go outside. This ruins everything. So we came home from Brooklyn and now I'm just contemplating going to the hospital or not. I don't want to though. I have a fever, it's a hundred. Mm. All right, we're going to the hospital. Casey called the ambulance. And we're just waiting for them at this point. He's gonna try to sneak filming as much as he can. So that you can really see what goes on. EMS on their way. Stacy's in a lot of pain. Taking forever. Want to try to find him? No. Waiting on them to get here. I don't like you seeing me like this. 
it's okay. Not really not, but that happens. You're still, you're still beautiful. I still love you. Still want to marry you. All of the above. Okay, so I got discharged from the hospital. They gave me Toradol, I think that's what it's called, to um, leave with. And then um, gave me the number of GI doctors and stuff to follow up with because I don't have one out here in New York um, because of my insurance and everything took so long to get since I moved here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to rub peppermint oil on my stomach and on my feet. You thought about the colonoscopy already? Oh yeah. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that because I'm high on morphine. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm supposed to get a colonoscopy, so I need to follow up with someone in order to get that done pretty soon. And I am now ending this vlog. So... Hope you guys enjoyed seeing me sick, and it's the most organic vlog I've ever done in my life, literally. Yeah. No, like, trying, I've never really pretended to be anybody that I'm not in front of the camera, but that really showed, like, what I wouldn't normally, like, show or talk about. Vulnerability. So, yeah. Very vulnerable, yeah. I mean, I will do, I'll do more, but... Yeah, for now, this is the last. This is the flare. It's over. Flare be gone. Flare be gone. <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you want to see more or if you have any questions, comment down below. Um, I'll put my Instagram right here. And you guys can follow me because I talk about it on there a lot. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Watch out, Cash. So we ended the vlog last night. Um, came home around 4 a.m. We uh, woke up today. Stacy felt stomach pains later in the afternoon, and now we're uh, just called medical again to head back to the EMS. Tonight we have a lot worse pains, so um, they're on their way. On their way. Last night was about a eight to ten on the pain scale. Tonight she says it's about a twenty. Um, just saying that she it feels like she's dying. Really nauseous. This is over. All right. I don't even know what I look like because I haven't looked at myself all day and it's 4.45 p.m. But, um, yeah, so obviously I thought that the flare was over. It wasn't. We went back. Um, they ended up giving me, I don't even know, like the worst laxative in the entire world to clean out my whole system. So it was basically like prepping for a colonoscopy. Like, basically that's like what they gave me and that's exactly what happened. Like, it would... I mean, I didn't get a colonoscopy. I didn't. But I didn't get a colonoscopy, but um, yeah, it was really, really bad, and it was painful. Oh my god, it was so painful. It wouldn't give me anything for the pain because pain can constipate you. Blah 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 blah, all that stuff. And now I have like this kind of stuff on me because from like the bandages and stuff that I have to take off with rubbing alcohol and just such a mess but I'm leaving tomorrow for a wedding and I'm fine now I'm just I mean I do have an ice pack on my head but um I am fine like my stomach's fine I'm fine like I'm totally fine I just am like super thirsty um I'm a little weak like I haven't you know I wasn't eating that much so yeah I'm a little weak and basically that's it but um my boyfriend left 
God bless this sweet little soul who's like took care of me the whole time and um, yeah anyways so now I'm officially ending this video that is what a flare looks like for me at least that time so yeah anyways thank you guys for watching and yeah comment below with what you think all right bye